Okay, so today's video is going to be a little bit different. Normally, um, uh, videos fall into a few different kind of categories. Um, mainly, videos that are meant as um, meant to show that a lighter is functioning properly, and that video is going to be included in an eBay listing for that lighter being sold. Therefore, the the uh, potential buyer of that lighter will be able to click on that link and in some cases even see it play right there um, in their browser but if not because of mobile link problems with eBay um, they at least can click on that link see the lighter functioning properly before they purchase it um, I also make videos that are um, they're meant as a um, um, instructional and those those videos are usually uh, accompany an article that was written for the website dependableflame.com um, um, let me think here whether there are any other kind of uh, I I make another kind of short video but that doesn't have anything to do with this channel that's for um, creating pins for Pinterest, which if you uh, haven't followed dependableflame.com on Pinterest, um, I would really appreciate that. That's um, a really important part of, of the business strategy. But on our YouTube about page, what it says is vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tabacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. That's what we're going to be talking about today, is a few, not exactly what I had in mind when I came up with that term. Um, I thought that was a pretty witty, uh, maybe clever way to um, describe some things that, uh, I don't know, might otherwise be called paraphernalia, but that's not really what I have to show you here today. Um, but nonetheless, they're not the typical what my videos have been made, either showing you how a lighter functions or how to repair it. What I have here today are a few different items. The one, the main one, which uh, I've had, and I'll include pictures in the video. We'll see how my editing skills are coming along. Um, I say we a lot. Uh, when I talk about the website, but it's a one-man operation. It's all me So uh, anything you see from dependableflame.com on the website YouTube channel um, uh, Responding to uh, comments on the website or YouTube um, Any of those other eBay, it's all me There's, uh, like I said, I may say we sometimes, but it's all me. But this one I've had since way back in the very beginning. So I purchased this on January 15th, 2018. Um, so just a few months into this whole, or, this whole, whole, or, whole endeavor for me. Um, so I've had it in my inventory for a long time. It's a really cool item. I really like it. Um, the one thing I'd be carrying this around in my pocket right now if it was um, a little bit longer. It's a cigarette case. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of metal. It looks it's metal with some kind of paint. I assume enamel. Um, and this is the way. I don't know anything about it. I've I've looked. I don't see any markings, um, any maker's markings or um, advertising of any kind. Like I said, I'll show you the pictures from the website where I purchased it in the auction. And um, you'll see it was, these papers were in there then. Um, so, uh, got cigarette papers in there. 
So I don't know if it was like a Prince Albert um, promotion. You know, like uh, you buy a pack of cigarettes today, sometimes you get a free lighter. Um, you buy a uh, bottle of whiskey, sometimes they give you a couple of glasses or flask with it. That sort of thing. A promotional giveaway. Um, or I really don't know. I don't, you know, there's some damage to the enamel, some chipping. Um, not enough to keep me from carrying it. I mean, I, I still think it's very nice. Um, I would carry it every day, except for one thing. And I, I hadn't even compared it to what the length of a regular cigarette. Um, but it's just too short. So, you know, unless you're going to just carry a couple of them and carry it, you know, put them in there diagonally, it's just too short for these kind of cigarettes. But I, I'm pretty sure it's too short for a regular filtered cigarette like they sell today. So I don't know. Um, now... Like I said, it came with these papers, these Prince Albert papers in there. And um, obviously, they fit it. So maybe that's what, I've got another paper here, but if you rolled it with that paper, uh, as you can see, it is just about exactly the, the same dimension as the case itself. So, yeah, if uh, you're maybe a guy who uh, rolls his own cigarettes, um, you know, part of the reason I'm in the boat I'm in today is carpal tunnel and my hands have had it. So, that's a skill that I don't think I'm going to be able to acquire. Um, but anyway, I don't know. We'll see how much longer I... I'd love to sell this thing today, um, but I'm not willing just to give it away. I know it's, uh, it's a very cool old item that um, at this point, I don't know. I let it go for $50, I'm sure of that. But cheaper than that, I'm not sure. But we'll see. Um, any of this stuff really if somebody knows something about it that I don't or if you uh, want to fill me in with the value and you know maybe you're buying these commonly somewhere that I'm not aware of let me know um, I've searched and I haven't found another one like that anywhere so now moving on very sturdy look it, it fits nice and neat it uh, it's got a good strong spring there on the arm and then it locks up very cool um, the next thing and this one came I'll show you I'll show you the pictures where I bought this one too Because this one, this item, this cigar cutter or cigarillo cutter, uh, technically more, more technically would be what it's referred to as a cigarillo cutter, I believe. <clears throat> I bought and uh, paid the most for that collection out of anything I bought, um, but made more out of it as well. It was a, just a tremendous collection. 37 items, uh, 26 lighters, 11 <clears throat> cigar cutters uh, what else was in there there were a few different cigar cutters and uh, piercer or one piercer um, I can't remember now uh, if, if you see the picture I'll put the picture uh, from where I bought it the listing that I bought it from in here and uh, so you'll see the whole thing and uh, so if you got any comments on that just leave them down below and I'll address that there but anyway, it's a very cool lot of stuff that uh, 
I could purchase one of those every week, I would be doing all right. Um, but I, most of the items, um, with rare exceptions, here's the one other piece I still have from this. It's, uh, I've mentioned this later in another video. J, uh, Admiral J.J. Clark, U.S. Naval, Navy retired, fa farewell cruise. Um, but it was a bunch of the lighters in that collection had this name on it. I don't know. Obviously, they were given to him um, as commemoration for certain achievements in the military. But some of them were. But then others, I don't know. Others were, there was a Zippo that just had those initials on it. Um, so I assumed he was a smoker, but I don't really know. Um, you can read about him on Wikipedia. Um, but anyway, most of those here, this one was just a cheap presentation lighter, you know, military presentation lighter. I mean, very cool and it definitely has value. Uh, but it's not a Zippo. It's not any of the name brands. Just a Japanese Conwall. Um, you can see there. Just, you know. Nothing special. Um, so there were a few items like that. There was a Ronson Whirlwind about a, you know, just a regular. But then there were several Sterling Silver Lighters and and uh, a Goldfield Zippo, a Solid Gold, uh, not guitar, uh, Solid Gold Cigar Piercer. Um, there were more than, there were other Solid Gold items and some several there was a uh, cigarillo cutter that was in the shape of an eye very cool um, but anyway this is the one most of the others I was able to find some kind of markings um, identifying and so that's one reason why I haven't attempted to sell this one is I never could find any markings I don't know um, obviously the tone of the metal there is different so I don't know if this is plated um, the handles are plated I don't know why this is silver and the rest is gold colored um, but I'm, I just don't know that much about metal um, I do know if it was precious metal if it was gold silver it would be marked in some way um, and I don't think that it doesn't look like it's been used enough that it would be um, would have been worn off anyway if you recognize them if you know something about this particular set of uh, cutters that I don't which obviously I don't know anything about it so but you can see how that works it's sort of like uh, you, know, you see the guillotine style cutters this is similar uh, motion it's just um, so anyway um, that's what that does I don't know you know it's not really intended to you cut an excess paper off it. I don't know what you do. I've never smoked a cigar or a cigarillo. But anyway, that's what that is, is a cigar cutter. And then the other thing, which this is something that's just kind of nostalgic to me. My mother gave this to me. Found this in my grandmother's stuff. She smoked. I, don't, <clears throat> I can't remember whether she smoked her whole life. I mean, whether she was still smoking when she or not but I, I certainly remember smoking when I was a kid um, but before I even started down this road of uh, vintage cigarette lighters ashtrays tobacco on and other useful mechanisms my mother had given me this um, after having found it in my grandmother's stuff and thought I might be able to find some use out of it and um, you know another I'm not sure that may be kind of looks like a Crown Royal logo I haven't looked it up I have no intention of selling it going to my grandmother um, but very cool 
little pocket ashtray. Um, there you go. So, anyway. So that's going to be the first uh, installment of this, um, what I'm going to call uh, on other useful mechanisms. Um, if you have any comments, please leave them below. Um, please go and like, uh, follow us on eBay, uh, our YouTube channel. Tell all your friends about our YouTube channel, Pinterest. dependableflame.com